Hello, I'm Sim Zart, an illustrator and comic book artist. In this video, I'm going to show how to create a comic panel or an illustration using a limited color palette using Clip Studio Paint. In the previous video, we covered some topics like color theory, finding references, and creating a mood board, and how to use the Clip Studio Paint tools to help us in the color choice. In this video, we will talk about how to create our first limited color palette, how to set up a Clip Studio Paint workspace to work with a color palette, and create an artwork using a limited color palette. In order to create a limited color palette for our illustration or comic panel, we will start from the references we collected and most importantly, from the idea behind the artwork we are going to create. Based on the mood we want, we will make our palette colorful, picking colors different from each other, or more monochromatic, picking colors close to each other. We can use high contrast picking colors with a high brightness difference or low contrast, keeping all the values close to each other. We can also decide to work in high key, picking mostly colors in the bright value spectrum, low key, picking colors with a brightness value very low, or keep the colors in the mid-tones area. I will pick a mid-tone color palette with low contrast and mostly monochromatic, beside a splash of complementary or split complementary colors. I will pick warm tones to communicate heat and intimacy in the picture, and I will use the color wheel to find the colors and test them on the canvas. Using intermediate color to find some in-between colors. Finally, I will save the colors in a color set to easily pick the colors while working. In order to work in a comfortable way, Clip Studio Paint allows us to move the elements in the interface in a way that is most comfortable for every type of artist. I like to arrange all my color panels on one side in order to be able to quickly see the color wheel, the color set and a very important panel called Color History. This is particularly important while selecting the colors because it's an easy way to check what colors we picked recently so we can avoid picking new colors from the color wheel every time. Now that the limited color palette is ready and we have it available in our new color set, it's time to draw. I'll make a simple panel design for a comic. First, I create the line art using a pencil brush. Clip Studio Paint has many brushes pre-installed, so pick the one you find more comfortable for your line art or type of process. Once the line art is complete, I like to set the blending mode of the line art layer to multiply, and then I will create a new layer under it where I will start coloring using our limited color palette. I will create the line art of this piece using a pencil looking brush. Once the layout is complete, I will use a limited color palette that I saved on the left, as you can see, that is made mostly by yellow, blue, orange skin tones, green and brown. All these warm colors mixed with cold tones will create the mood that I'm looking for. I use multiple multiply layers set below the line art and once I'm happy with the arrangement of these layers, usually I merge them from time to time. This will give a watercolor effect and will help in blending the different values that we selected in our limited color palette, creating new new ones. I will also create a new layer on top of the line art set on normal to create highlights like the rim light in the hair or the glow around the flower. At this point, we created our first artwork using a limited color palette. However, one of the hardest things to do is to keep the limited color palette consistent through our entire project, and this is what we're going to talk about in the next video. With all that being said, I hope you find this video useful, and for any question, leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, you can find more about my work on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. See you next time.